like I'm going to be up all night because now D.L. Hughley has interrupted my work I'm trying to do in the house. He has listened to the Monique interview on Club Shay Shay and he has some things to say. Let's just get into it. Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a wave set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much in gain weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. Oh my goodness. Has DL been on Club Shay Shay? Because I feel like he's going to be coming up soon if he hasn't. So now he goes into talking about what Monique was talking about at the radio station, the game they play, Would You Rather. My co-host, Jasmine Sanders, played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she said she got off, she called me. Monique did, and she said I was very dismissive, like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had as been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. Now, what we do know to be true is Monique did go to the radio station. D.L. was not there and they did play that game. And I think Monique did say that they never aired it. But then he goes on to talk about how Monique talks about everybody. And she encourages her sweet babies to go to find these videos where DL and her are going at different odds. And he said, yes, do that. And you will not find anything. Let's keep going. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says DL Hubley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. So what he's talking about is his daughter was um, taken advantage of. And I thought I had heard that Monique had said something about it. I know she had talked about his dog. I think she was on stage when she did that. She was on stage when she did that. I couldn't play that for you, so I had to just break it down. So let's keep going. You, you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real, except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. Now, the part I couldn't show previously because it was a little saucy language, he was saying that nobody fools with Monique, right? Nobody, you won't ever find a video with Monique and her grandbabies and her babies because nobody fools with her. And he said that's why she's only with her daddy, right? So now what we're going to get into, he's going to talk about her comedy. And he is really going in on that. So here we go. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. Ooh. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people. Except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. DL truly feels a type of way. This interview really, really got under his skin. And I want to know what you think about it. I want to know if you feel like he's right. I want to know if you feel like Monique is a complainer and she starts stuff and she's hard to work with. Um, because it was a great interview she did with Shannon. And I think people left it feeling a certain way about Monique. But now you have DL here. Giving his little spin on his live. Let's finish it up. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you... Well, I was on the road, get it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. It's all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you were fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. Ooh. It's sad. There's an old adage that said you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. 
Well, y'all, there it is. What do you think about that? I mean, he feels a certain type of way. He's heard her today talk about him. So he has come on here and he has talked about her. Let's talk about it in the comments. It's your girl, Millie Chun, and I'm out. Bye, y'all.